Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, back here tinkering with the uh, Studebaker we just, Ethan and I just went and picked up. And I'm going to do a walk around here in a minute. Um, you know, what the car is going to need, what the plans are for the car. Right now, I'm still trying to get stuff out from it where it's been sitting for a while. Uh, if you noticed in the previous video that we did, I'm picking it up, this back tire was locked up. We didn't know if we had it in the right gear or not. Evidently, the selector is a little bit different on the Studebaker. So we went online and found exactly where neutral was in this thing, but it was still not wanting to roll on this side. And so I believe it's locked up. So we're gonna take this wheel off. I'm um, already soaked some penetrating fluid in on the back side of the drum. And let's see if we can get this drum to beat loose and get it turning so we can get it off the trailer. And uh, then I'll do the walk around. Man, there's a lot of growth on this thing, and dirt daubers. Now, let's see if we can get this broke loose. I'm gonna try my blow hammer first and see if we can break loose, if not, then we're going to break out with the big Thor. What do I do with that pry bar? Sometimes I'll lose my head if it wasn't attached. Got a couple of lug nuts back and I don't want to damage the threads on it. I mean, granted, we're probably not going to use this rear end anyway, but it's probably, you know, worth something to somebody. So we're going to try to resell as much as the parts that we can off this car that we're not going to use. So I don't want to damage things too bad. This might take a bit of All right, now get off there. All right, we're free. It fought me, but we're free. And I like the, the look of the rim of this car, but the tire is way too tall. Well, we got plans down the road on that, but they put these on here because the other uh, the rear tires were like the front, wouldn't hold air. So I have a nice set of slots now been on something else. All right, now that we got the wheel on, let's do a walk around on the car. Like I said, it's a 63 Studebaker. It was also known by many other names like the Daytona and et cetera. Uh, they were produced until about 66. Uh, they came with three engine packages, uh, the 170, 
I think the 259, the 289, and then you also could order the 289 with with the charger on it. This one is the six cylinder model 170. pressure wash the motor off i'm digging this oil cap man still got the original sticker on it note break-in oil contains stp and on the side recommend and add one pint of stp So I thought that was pretty cool. I might just hang on to that cap. Uh, looks like everything's pretty much original with the motor. Uh, looks like the mass cylinder was changed out to a later model master cylinder. The radiator looks correct from what I can see. And, um, but she's gonna be covered out. The car for the most part is solid. I'm gonna to have to replace both the front fenders on this. Um, someone at one time did a patch job here and did it in fiberglass, but the nose is still good. It's not rusted out. Back part of the fender where someone tried to patch. You can see where that's wanting to come back apart. Uh, this door can be saved. I can pull this back out. A little bit of rust there, but other than that, solid door. Now the rockers are a different story. Rockers and the floors are gone so i'm going to, have to replace the rockers at it uh four pans but the good thing is the frame's not rusted out I'm probably pulling the body off and having the frame redone so we're going to look into that of course i got to beat the frame up anyway from what i'm going to be doing with it but i mean i did a little polish earlier with a cut cutting compound and it didn't come out too bad it's got the original glass in it you can see here this side's rotted out as well you can see where someone started to patch a little bit on this thing <clears throat> but all that's going to come out because i'm going to have to make room make the doghouse bigger and taller from what i'm going to be putting in it uh, i'm going to try to keep the original dash in it I'm going to clean it all out and try to get it restored. Or if I can find one from another vehicle that's not going to cost a whole lot. But the interior is trashed. I mean, it's been sitting for a while. It's going to need new headliner seats. Uh, the door cards. Uh, if we can find them pretty cheap, we'll go ahead and get those. If not, we'll make our own. It's not that hard to do these days. Well, like again, once again, the fender's gonna have to get redone. And this was, someone put like duct tape, aluminum duct tape on it to fill that out. But, you know, overall, I mean, it's a solid car for what we're gonna be doing with it. And as you can see here, you can see the fiberglass. So the fenders are got to go. Um, the hood overall is in very good shape. Um, it did come disconnected from back up underneath here. I gotta figure out what broke on that. Evidently, where the car sat at, I guess one year there were some tornadoes that came through and some high winds and it actually got underneath the hood and lifted and pulled the hood. But the hood itself is fine, it's not bent. Uh, the front of the car looks really great. I mean, the bumper is, there's only one little ding right there, and we can get that out. Uh, we'll redo the headlight bezels, but the grill's in real nice shape. The rear bumper's not too bad, but it's gonna need a little bit more finessing. You can see here, evidently they got hit back here at one time, buckled it there, but other than that, I think we can fix that. Uh, and we're gonna be looking for reverse lights lenses and housings um, possibly tail lights it's going to be a long project it's not going to happen overnight um, it's probably going to take about a year at least if not a year and a half to do everything we want to do with it 
and between new interior headliner redoing the dash um so it's gonna take some time which that's fine you know because i want this car done right to the best that i can do i'm sure i might have to bring in some help off and on and any of you studebaker guys that are out there you're more than welcome to leave me comments and suggestions that'd be great <laughs> now what are we going to do with this thing well most of y'all been following my channel for a while i was wanting to do an engine swap and we were looking at a 64 wagon but too much of it was gone it was just a shell uh the price he wanted for it. I mean, it was a good price, but I didn't want to pay that. But that's all good. So when this came around, I said this would be the perfect vehicle to do it. And what swap is that going to be? We're going to Gen 3 Hemi swap this thing. Um, we've got a 300C C parts car in the back. It's got 5.7 in it. Uh, it's got the Nag 1 in it. The independent rear suspension in the back with the cradle so i want to try to utilize all of that in this car which means there's gonna be a lot of fabrication and we'll see where it goes and i've already had a couple of y'all say you know find a 289 supercharged to put in it i get that i appreciate that but this is going to be a, a hemi swap i've been wanting to do one for a while it's going to be a fast little car now, as far as the wiring stuff goes, I'm going to try to keep most of it stock as possible. Uh, we'll probably look in, probably get a Holly, I think it's a Terminex, Terminex X or something like that, um, to run all the controls, the motor, the transmission. Oh, Terminator X. There we go. And so we're going to be looking into that. See any of you Holly guys out there. And uh, we're going to make this a nice build. So we're going to do basically a black on black. The windows are going to be tinted out. Nice black paint job, which means, yes, a lot of body work. So, like I said, I'm going to have some people helping me off and on with this thing. The wheels, we don't know yet. Hopefully, we might be able to find repop rims and stuff for, like, the back with a wider stance, which I think should be no problem. These are 14s. And um, we might be able to get away with doing 15s on this, but I just want to see how it's going to look with the car. I don't want everything out of proportionate. But it's going to be a fun build. It's going to be a long build. And we'll see where it goes. Some of you might like it. Some of you might not. But at the end of the day, it's going to work. It's going to be just a lot of hard work. Right, so I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to try to get it off the trailer. And then get my trusty notebook out. And start writing things down. And kind of get a direction of this build. Stay tuned, there'll be more videos on this. And oh, by the way, before I pull that four cylinder out, I'm gonna see if I can get it to run after sitting since, let's see, car been sitting over there in the present location since 2007. It hadn't ran for like five or 10 years before that. So it's been a minute and see if we can get this thing to run. It's coming out so the motor and trainee will be up for sale once it gets pulled out. So once again, if you Studebaker guys looking for a 170 with a transmission, starter and stuff like that, um, hit me in the comments. Get back at it and get this thing offloaded. I got to move some stuff out of the way. I've got another Honda to work on. And uh, but I'll see you down the road.